Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so I've been really taking the time to understand anxiety a little more. And it's weird. It's like the more that I find out, the more that I just, all of these epiphanies, all of these revelations start to come to me. And what I've found is anxiety is an emotion that we demonize. We consider it to be negative and we put a, a negative label behind that state of being. And anytime that we demonize a certain part of who we are, we separate ourselves from that. And whenever you cause separation between you and a certain part that is inside of us, that part in which we demonize and we consider it to be negative, it will control us because we are not accepting that state of being. And whenever you don't accept a part of yourself that we do not like, it will control you because we shun it. We shove it in a cage and we try to dim its light. But whenever you separate yourself because we don't like a certain aspect of who we are, it will come back 10 times stronger every single time. Because what it's trying to do, it's trying to control us so it wakes us up to what we are being controlled by. And a lot of the times that feeling can become so overwhelming, you enter like a period of psychosis. And when you're in a period of psychosis, it's very hard to pull yourself out of your mind, to pull yourself out of your world. And that emotion become can become so intense it can lead to panic attacks and panic disorders. And once you start panicking, that emotion has full control over your your your, your entire life, your your entire mindset, your your you know your entire state of being, to where it just becomes something that it's very hard to live with. And when it becomes hard to live with, the very first thing we do is we look for something that can put a band-aid over the way we feel. We try to look for a medication that can destroy anxiety, but it's an emotion and emotions never die. It's, a, it's, it's, it's impossible to eliminate an emotion. What we can do is we can learn how to transform it. We can learn how to manipulate it to where we no longer suffer from it, but we use it as an aid. It can aid us. It can fuel us. But it goes back to the idea and this understanding of, of causing this separation between a certain area in which we don't we do not like about ourselves. And whenever we don't like something about ourselves, it leads to, to feeling insecure. And the more insecure we become, the more that we allow this you know this anxiety to control us. So the next time we start to feel overwhelmed and have all of this anxiety where it's very hard to breathe, it's very hard to pull yourself out of your world, inside of your mind. We have to pay attention and to learn to just be still, to be still because emotions, they come and they go. But the reason they stay is because we feed into it. And the more that you begin to feed into that state of being, it'll multiply because what we're doing is reinforcing the way we feel. And the more that you reinforce that, It'll blow up and it'll multiply. And when it multiplies, it gets a hold of your mindset. When it gets a hold of your mindset, we come up with all of these worst case scenarios, all of this negative thinking, all of this insecure thinking, where it can triple into a panic disorder. And when we start to have panic attacks, it'll, it'll consume your life beyond comprehension. So when we can learn to be still and just to observe the way we feel and to don't don't try to figure out why you feel that way don't try to figure out where it's stemming from don't try to figure out how you can calm yourself no just try to just be still just be still and allow that emotion to just fuel through you it needs to burn through you but when your mind starts to trickle and it starts to have all of these insecure thoughts, all of these negative thoughts, all of the worst case scenario thoughts, we need to become aware of it. Don't attach yourself to a thought. Just because we're having these thoughts doesn't make it true. Just become aware of it. Observe it. Don't set your hook inside of one of those thoughts. And the more that we can learn to just be still, we can learn to recalibrate and completely transform the way this anxiety controls us from feeling out of control to being in control because what we're doing is we're recalibrating a new way of thinking, a new way of talking ourselves through this anxiety. And we're going to have to go back and revisit this over and over and over and over and over and over. But the more that you can go back and you can get acquainted with how this anxiety controls not only the way you feel, but the way you think, we can completely change our mindset and we can change our perspective into something that we can learn to accept 
because it's an emotion. It's a part of us. Everybody has anxiety. Everybody does. Some just hide it better than others. And some don't allow it to control them. Some allow anxiety to control them. There's a list of different things, but everybody has anxiety. Every single person does. And if you didn't, it wouldn't make you human. So when we can learn to accept that, we can learn to love it and we can learn to embrace it and we can learn to allow it to be a part of us. And we no longer separate ourselves from an area in which we do not like because whenever you learn to conjoin it and to befriend it and to show it love and show it compassion and empathy, we can manipulate it and we can transform from a state in which we suffer to which it aids us. It's no longer negative. It's positive. It's no longer pessimistic. It's optimistic. It's no longer fear. It's love. It no longer controls us because we're in control of it. But we need to learn to love it. And we need to learn to allow that to be a part of who we are. When you allow something to be a part of you, you can always change the directory in which it's positioned. So we need to learn to be still. We need to learn how to breathe through it. Don't try to figure out why you have it. Don't try to figure out where it stems from. Don't try to figure out how you can destroy the emotion. Don't figure out how you can try to get rid of the anxiety. You can't get rid of it. But in order to transform it and to manipulate it, we need to conjoin it. We need, uh, we need, we need to allow it to be a part of us. And sometimes we go through the ringer. Sometimes you fall 20 times and you have to get up 21 times. Sometimes it feels like the road will never end. The train will never end. But eventually, when we can learn to adjust our mindset and adjust our, you know, adjust our perspective and our idea behind how our, you know, our anxiety controls us, sooner or later, you can learn to become in control of how you feel. And not only how you feel, but how you think and how that no longer can control our life rather than going from a period of suffering to where it can aid us. All right. I love you guys. And as always, peace and love.